Hey everybody, I'm back again, this time with Pop OS. I know, I know, I change, uh, you know, OS is like people change underwear. It's just a, a thing I have, I don't know what it is. But anyway, I'm using Pop OS. I have used this before. I like it for a couple of reasons. I like the Ubuntu Ubuntu ecosystem or the, the, the type of just the, the feel of it. Um, not so much Ubuntu proper. I don't like the way they implement their desktop stuff. And I don't like some of the decisions they're making as far as snaps and that kind of stuff is concerned. But the actual, as opposed to RPM-based systems, I tend to gravitate towards Ubuntu-based systems more or Debian-based systems. Um, also, it has a nice implementation of the GNOME desktop which I, oddly enough, have come to like over the years. I used to actively dislike GNOME, but over the years it's kind of grown on me for some reason, and I find myself defaulting to that more often than not when I try other, other distros as well. I did try KDE again recently, the new Plasma version, and I kind of didn't like it, and I don't really know why, but anyway... So this is GNOME, but it's it's altered. It's uh, tailored to Pop OS's needs. I am really excited to try out uh, the new Cosmic Desktop when they finally finish it. Uh, in case you don't know, Pop OS is working on their own implementation of their Cosmic, what they call their Cosmic Desktop, um, not based on GNOME, but rewritten in Rust. So apparently that's progressing quite well, and uh, I would be excited to try. I don't have it on here. This is the, the normal version here. Um, but I like their the tweaks that they do in GNOME. And the one thing about GNOME is when GNOME updates, it breaks a lot of the little uh, niceties via um, extensions. In case you don't know, uh, GNOME has a lot of extensions available, which add to or change the functionality of the, the system and they frequently break because the GNOME likes to update stuff and they break and it's, it's annoying. Pop OS has things like if you look at the top right here you'll see you can see running programs like I have uh, pCloud here uh, which is a cloud service I can see when it's uh, in action you know if I copy something in the cloud I can actually see a little indicator there Regular GNOME does not have that. Uh, also, the when you're copying things between folders, I find the, the the file transfer notification in Pop OS much more consistent than it is in GNOME, and that always kind of irritates me because I tend to copy stuff to USB drives and such, and it's sometimes or even flash drives, you know, thumb drives, and it's sometimes hard to know if it's actually finished transferring or not, and I hate yanking out a USB drive before it's done. You know, that's a recipe for disaster. Anyway, this is, um, as I say, Pop! OS. It's running a 6.8 kernel, so pretty recent. It is running X11. It's still running uh, the Xorg desktop or environment. <clears throat> Excuse me. The new um, Cosmic desktop is going to be using Wayland, which I really don't care about. As long as my stuff works, I don't really care whether it's x11 or org or but the new one is going to be wayland uh, as you can see uh, it's gnome here gnome 42.9 which is kind of weird um it is using a fair bit of ram here but i have other stuff running too the recording software and stuff like that so but i like um some of the settings, just the housekeeping stuff they've done in it is nice. If you go to settings, it's pretty easy to see, you know, what's what. This is basically GNOME, you know, but it's kind of cleaned up a little bit. So it's a nice, you can go into privacy really quickly and do, you know, set up your privacy stuff, which I like to do for file history and so on. I like to not keep files forever and that kind of thing. You can do that in regular GNOME you know, too, but it's just it's sort of cleaned up in here. Um, it has some rudimentary uh, windowing control. You know, you can do the slip to the side to uh, do the tiling, which I find 
moderately handy. I don't do a lot of that kind of stuff, but you can just, kind of like Windows 11, you can just slap them over there and it'll tile it nicely. I don't do a lot of that, but you, you, it is possible to do it, certainly. Um, one thing it does not come with, I don't think it has the uh, the minimize maximize button by default, but again, you can, you can change that easily enough in the settings. Um, also, if you slide, if I do a four finger slide in my touchpad, you can bring up the uh, the multiple desktop scenarios and you can go in here. It's actually on the, the left here, which is a little, a little odd, uh, but you can go to your different desktops here. Um, I do like to use the Brave browser. I just have gotten used to that for some reason. Um, I find it's similar enough to Chrome that it's, it's comfortable. Um, it has a fairly nice uh, built-in privacy and ad blocker. Um, I also use uh, also use Privacy Badger just to help a little bit with you know tracking and stuff. But I like the Brave browser. I also the Brave search is not too bad either, um, which is built into the Brave browser. I actually my default is perplexity as I've mentioned before, but that's just me. Anyway, I am looking very much forward to the when they they finally release their Cosmic desktop. Uh, with the, the, you know, rewritten from scratch and Rust. That's going to be pretty interesting. I'd really like to see that. I'm assuming it's going to be basically this, the same environment, but, as I said, written in Rust. So that should be exciting. Anyway, that's what I'm using now. Um, unfortunately, unfortunately or unfortunately, Linux makes it easy to, I find, for my fairly limited use case to swap between desktops. You basically just copy the stuff from your home folder and slap it into the new instance and away you go. Most Linux systems already come with basic stuff like Office and uh, Office tools, you know, um, photo editing stuff. So it, that's all there. You don't have to download a bunch of other apps necessarily. So that's just my little, my little peccadillo. Anyway, thanks for wasting time with me again. And uh, hope to catch you next time. Bye.